Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 80 summer for four So today guys, I want to talk to you guys about the gold cup guys the 2023 gold cup guys So we're gonna be doing a reaction to the draw guys now I'm not gonna get predictions here or anything like that I'm gonna just give you guys my quick brief analysis of each group and to give you guys my quick thoughts So if you're new on here, please hit the like button guys hit the subscribe button as well I want to reach I'm gonna be really ambitious guys I'm gonna I want to reach 20 likes in this video guys 20 likes man So please Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down below, and you guys know I'll be covering the Gold Cup extensively. I love international football, guys. Gold Cup is one of my favorites, and of course, I'm a USMNT fan, so I'll keep this as objectively as I possibly can. So let's go ahead and look into each of the groups, guys. Let's start with Group A, guys. Now, I already did a YouTube short reaction for this, so I'm not going to be too long here. I'm going to be very, very narrow here, very, very brief, very concise. And for the USA, this is a very doable group. Now, this is—is is this the easiest group that USA could have asked for? Certainly not. You know, Jamaica and most probably Curacao will give us a very, very tough game. That being said, I still expect the United States to relatively be con happy with this group. Now, I think this battle for second place is gonna be very interesting because I'm gonna make the assumptions that Curacao will most likely qualify. Now, in the event that they don't, then Jamaica probably should be gaining second place. The Jamaica should be. So as you guys can see right guys, match six right here, and we're gonna be playing against match nine. So match three and four, right? So um like I said, Curacao is the best team of the four, in my opinion. So I would expect Curacao to advance. So it's gonna be very interesting though to see how though it ends. And now for group B, this is where things get very interesting. Spicy. This is the real group of death. If USA's group isn't, I don't know what is, because this is the real group of death. Mexico, Haiti, Honduras, Qatar. Now, obviously, top is very straightforward. We all know which nation is going to top. The second place battle is very fascinating because we could have a three-way battle for second place. Okay? Now, I don't really think it's going to be three-way. I think it's most likely going to be between Honduras and Qatar. But you don't know, man, with Honduras, man, they've been really, really poor. And the um, the CONCACAF World Cup qualifiers we saw, and obviously Qatar, we know... Um, they're the of course World Cup host, you know, so it's gonna be very interesting to see how this one pans out and As of now man, it's very difficult to call It's very difficult to call for that second place and who knows maybe Haiti can get second place with all of with all um, Honduras and Qatar being somewhat Underperforming so um, it's gonna be very interesting man I'm really excited to see how group B pans out and group C man group C is really interesting We got Costa Rica Panama El Salvador. This is another really interesting group because I think this group is really interesting because El Salvador from El Salvador for me have a chance this group despite I believe being part three. Now we look at the winners of preliminary match eight. Now most likely that will be matches eight. So as you guys can see right here, we match two and five. So that'll be Martinique, Saint Lucia, and Suriname, Puerto Rico. Now in my opinion, I think Suriname is the strongest of the four nations, so I would probably expect them to qualify. But it's going to be very interesting though because Puerto Rico is also a really good challenge. So. I, I, for me personally, it's going to be between whoever, whichever nation wins between these two right here will probably make the gold cup, you would imagine. So, this is going to be very interesting. Um, and yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens there. But, you know, realistically speaking, that nation will probably finish bottom. And now, top two is going to be very interesting because Panama for me is a well, I like Panama. I think they're a very well structured nation. They, they like to score goals. It's just their defense, I think, is a bit sketchy. I think they concede a little too many goals. Costa Rica, we know, are defensively very solid. They don't score enough goals, so. And the same could be said with El Salvador. So that's why I really like Group C. I think it's very interesting there. And then finally, the final group, Group D, guys. It's a relatively easy group for Canada. Canada should be breezing through this group. Guatemala, Cuba. Uh, the preliminary match seven. Now, match seven is going to be, I believe, Trinidad, Tobago versus um, um, Guadalupe versus Guyana versus Grenada. So. Trinidad really should be doing this, but you know with Trinidad they have been underperforming in the last couple of cycles So I could see maybe Guyana or Grenada do it and yeah, it'll be very interesting to see what happens man But yeah, realistically speaking though Canada should be top in the group as for second place though Second place is really fascinating because we're gonna see a new nation that we haven't seen in the knockout stage for some time now So right now it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens. And so yeah, man, those are my quick Predictions man quick quick predictions. Uh, so it's gonna be very interesting guys to see what happens so please like i said if you made it this far please hit that like button man hit the subscribe button as well and also comment below your thoughts in each of these groups guys which group for you is the best for me group b is the best group c second and then i'll probably say group a third and then group d being the worst i think group d is the worst group of the four in my personal opinion so i hope you guys did enjoy and yeah man make sure you guys check out my other pops in the description below and yeah i'll see you guys later peace out